Now we have a track 15 playing of my test CD and that is the track 8 and now that we have this out of the way I can welcome you to my video of the TIAC CD Transport T1. Um, as most probably of you know uh, TIAC uses three brand names uh, the um, esoteric for the uh, more audiophile stuff or Tascam for the broadcast and TIAC I think for, for general but uh, having said that they did go to some trouble making this uh, transport they sort of keep the more industrial or, or broadcast look with those buttons but um, you know, they've done things that are not that common. Uh, let me just show you first the SPD trace, and that's um, pretty good, pretty, you know, square. With very little artifacts or overshoots or anything like that. But here we have the cover. Not many players have a sort of cover. I don't know it's a, whether it is a matter of strength of the box or shielding, additional shielding. There is a window here in some units. There's actually the cover that goes on top of it also has a window. This unit does not. So um, inside, as I've said before, there is a, a good power supply. It will audio audiophile. So there is a, a filter there with um, uh, silver wires in Teflon coating, tricord clock has been fitted. I've actually measured the frequency, it's spot on. Um, it used to be mounted on double-sided tape in this wooden block. I, I put um, a proper uh, pad and, and, and with hot glue. Hopefully it will stay there. Um, both Esoteric and TIAC put often a copper tape stickers on ICs and on some capacitors. Uh, somebody here put some other stickers, even on power switch, and on the <laughs> IC connector there. I don't know what it's supposed to do, and on chips and on ribbon cables, whether it stops vibration or make it sound better. But it's there, so I'm not going to bother with removing it. Uh, I don't know if it does any good, but <laughs> sure it shouldn't harm. Um, and it has a VRDS, I think, um, version 4, CMK4, or something like that. Uh, not as fancy, I think, as 3.2, where there the, is a die-cast bridge, but, you know, still, it's a VRDS. Outputs, we have a um, Toslink and um, a SPD. So we are now looking here at uh, our um, SPD, and it plays uh, via Toslink there on a uh, benchmark that. That's pretty much all that I have to say about it. It's pretty good condition and um, well it took some doing to fix it. I, uh, I really don't fancy working on those too much. They always have um, gears that crumble and uh, it's pretty tricky to reassemble it all together so it works properly but I do have some experience so I, I finally managed. Well, thank you very much and till the next one. Bye-bye.